Uh, welcome everyone to the second you know, our series of three. I wanna thank Sierra Circuits for putting this all together. Um, you know, I don't normally uh, do uh, this kind of um, training and instructions, but with the Sierra Circuits invitation, uh, uh, I sent them a list of training programs I've done in the past, and they picked out a, a few that they feel their customers and all of you are interested in. Um, so uh, this will be interesting because this is a, um, what I'll introduce to you are, are new ideas uh, focusing on HDI and ultra HDI for high density packaging and interposers. Um, so that may be new to you, uh, a lot of these ideas um, I've used at Hewlett Packard for 15, 18 years. So they're not necessarily new to us, uh, but with that, we'll, uh, we'll get started. Uh, the, a little about ultra HDI um, and then uh, back to um, conventional HDI where we're talking about 25 micron and 50 micron traces and spaces. The ultra HDI, the roadmap focuses down to five micron uh, traces and spaces. And then um, four novel um, HDI structures uh, that we have used at Cuba Packard or even invented, uh, but you may not be familiar with them. They're used in some of advanced European and Asian constructions and then uh, our, our appendix. Uh, so ultra HDI is, is the big advanced uh, techniques. And you can see there that the ultra HDI is really focused at the 25, 25 micron down to five and five for IC substrates and interposers. Um, whereas print circuit boards, uh, typically the subtractive, you know, uh, goes down to about 75 micron lines and spaces or three mil lines and spaces down to, you know, just above two mil lines and spaces at 30, 30. Um, and, and you know, that involves HDI. And then there's kind of this uh, um, middle area uh, where we're moving from HDI to ultra HDI uh, with some of the, uh, the PC boards illustrated there at the bottom uh, where we've got multiple chips um, and or indoor chiplets now coming into it. Uh, at the substrate is, um, is larger than just a single chip package. Uh, and so these circuit density improvements that there are a number of uh, conferences scheduled this year uh, focusing on uh, uh, moving below 25 and 20 micron lines and spaces uh, for fighter pitch parts. Uh, and you can see there on the right-hand side, um, that fine line routing out all of the pads but today I'm gonna to talk about more than just finer traces and spaces. Um, for those of you in the telecom thing, um, because of dielectric and copper losses, you can't always use the, the extremely fine traces and spaces um, because of the size of your boards and everything. But we're gonna talk about architectures and um, more than just traces and spaces um, in terms of utilizing ultra HDI and HDI technologies. Um, as an example, um, this is just my watching what Apple has been doing since from 2011 to, um, into the late 2020s with their iPhone. And you can see the, uh, you know, the technology started out as subtractive and then into MSAP and the latest generation is the AM SAP, where we're dealing with uh, with uh, 20 micron traces and 20 micron spaces. Um, three tracks there be between the 0.25 millimeter pitch BGA with 110 micron pad. Now this is gonna 
continue the technology. And in fact, uh, if I were to, uh, to have a roadmap like this of Qualcomm or NVIDIA, uh, they would be moving in under 20 microns into the 10 microns and sometimes the five micron. Um, so you know, this, the whole point of the CHIPS Act and what we're all been concerned about. And in fact, this is, uh, you know, plated copper traces at five micron lines and spaces um, techniques uh, in terms of the redistribution layer, RDL formulation, which is a semi-additive process um, because we're dealing with uh, um, not with foil or laminates, but with uh, uh, um, high performance films that are vacuum laminated. And then like this one uses a sputtered titanium barrier and a sputtered seed copper. Um, I worked with this uh, in 2006. So uh, um, 18 years ago, we were doing uh, uh, a couple of micron lines and spaces using sputtering. Uh, there are now techniques that can use uh, potentially additive electroless copper. Um, but uh, uh, what you see there is uh, the process that we used in 2006, 18 years ago, uh, in order to produce five micron lines and spaces at Hewlett Packard for IC packaging. And, and that's because our semiconductors were years and years ahead of everybody else, including Intel and TSMC. Um, and unfortunately, our silicon was 27 millimeters on a side and it had over 3,000 uh, pins, 3,000 IOs that we had to connect to. So uh, um, um, HP Laboratories uh, um, provided us with it really advanced technologies that I'm relating back here today. But we're today talking about BGA breakouts uh, and especially moving away from the classical north, south, east, west dog bone to a thing called swing vias. Uh, in other words, to move the breakouts to open up more routing channels uh, on the, the circuit board that makes it then easier. Uh, and we're focusing, see on the lower left-hand side, eliminating the large through-hole vias by going to HDI and then also uh, ultra HDI um, and then a stack ups that allow us to um, put together uh, horizontal and vertical routing pairs with these blind vias. So the combination of fan out and escape traces you know, have the purposes of routing out larger BGAs and pin arrays. Uh, and you can see the definition here of the, the ball pad, you know, the fan out vias and the escape traces uh, from, the, from a, a BGA. Uh, so moving away from this north, south, east, west dog bones, once you have a blind via, uh, that only drops down one or two layers. Um, you can now um, immerse those vias actually into the, the pad. So it could be an inset near via and pad next to the pad, can be a partially via pad, or it could be a, the via in the pad. We don't like to recommend vias in the center of the pad because that's uh, when you put down the semiconductor device, kind of, corking the bottle. And um, if the via isn't filled, then there's no way for the um, air to escape. But if you're slightly off-centered there, and you can see by swinging them, um, we create larger channels for the 